The equation above expresses the approximate height h in meters of a ball t seconds after it is launched vertically upward from the ground with an initial velocity of 25 meters per second. After approximately how many seconds will the ball hit the ground? Okay, so let me just draw a rough picture here. So there's the ground. We have a ball. That goes up this is an awesome picture by the way I'm really talented just kidding I know I can't draw all right so it gets launched up goes up and then goes down so the height is at zero here right at the beginning and then height is zero at the end. And let me copy this equation. So H, that's height. T is time. Um, the fact that they say 25 meters per second, we don't need that. We're asked, how many seconds will the ball hit the ground? So we need the time. Since this is a quadratic equation, an equation with the power of 2, we can get time at two places, at the beginning and then at the end. So I'm going to make h 0 because that's where I want to get time, especially here at the end. That's what they're asking. Approximately how many seconds will the ball hit the ground? So how long, how many seconds is the ball in the air until it hits the ground? So zero equals negative 4.9 T squared plus 25 T. Negative 4. 0.9 t squared plus 25 t equals 0. I'm going to factor out a t. Negative 4.9 plus 25 equals 0. So that means t equals 0. So t equals 0 when height equals 0 at the beginning and negative 4.9 t plus 25 equals 0. Negative 4.9 t equals, we're going to subtract 25 from both sides, so we'll move the 25 here and t, and then we're going to divide negative uh, 4.9 in both sides. So let's just get our calculator. Negative 25 divided by negative 4.9, 5.10, 5 5.1 seconds. So that's closest to answer choice D.